guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video is all about how to add your thread when another one is finished you are going to need beads this is 10 mm together with your thread this is 0 0.6 thread as well as our scissors right so you're going to take your thread as you see me doing wrap it around in your palm normally i go for 20 depending on the size of the bag i'll go for 20 or 30 if i'm going for a smaller bag i'll go for 20 if i'm going for a bigger bag i'll go for 30 right so when you are done you are going to cut right then you make sure that your thread both of your thread is equal like so okay so i decided to go with a smaller thread because the purpose of the video is to show how to add another thread when another one is finished so i didn't want to use the bigger one because the bigger one i'll have to do until it's finished and i don't want to make this video to be so long as usual you're going to start with your four bits put them on any side that you prefer either left or right thread is there's no problem three and the last one is four right so there are four then you're going to use the last bit to pass it through your both thread then it should be something like this right and you're going to continue with the second one take three beads put two on your left then one on your right right thread right then you use your right thread and cross with the left thread on the last bit on the left then you should have something like this the second one right so this is normally the usual pattern that we go for so i would like to go with it until let's just make five and ten so that others that are struggling with ten can see also so this is the third one right so this is the fourth one one two three four okay so the fifth one we are going to turn right you take three beads you put all of them on your left thread all of the beads on your left thread right then you use your right thread to pass on the last bit on your left then it should be something like this, right? Okay. You can see that the right one is it's kind of like here and the, the left one is there, right? So you're still going to take this one also. The one that is on your left, you're still going to put three more beads on the left one All right then pass with the right thread right so it should be like this okay so let me go ahead and finish the thread so that we don't make this video too long I don't know if you could see that we have one, two, and one, two, three, four, five, right? Okay. 
so it doesn't really matter on the pattern that you are going for what i'm about to show you now it applies to every pattern okay okay let's do this let's do the last one right so as you can see we are here at the red thread both of my thread then i'm still gonna take this one pass it through on this pinky one right okay so we are about to cut our thread let's assume that your thread is now finished right you're going to take the last the last bit before you put a new thread right okay so we still have a right right and a left thread so make sure it's tight enough so here are the two bits you're going to put them all of them on your left one two right so at the end instead of taking your right thread to pass it with your left thread at the last bit you're not going to do that right so we're supposed to pass this thread with this thread on this last bit so instead of that we are going to make a knot okay i want to make a knot so it's two white one and the blue one and here you already pass it on the pink one then you make your knot over here right double knot one two one and two okay like so all right so I don't know if you can see that our nut is between the blue one and the pink one so here it is it's over here so what we're gonna do now here we are going to take this remaining thread and pass it through on the on these bits that are nearby not all of them not all of the threads just few so that you don't make you don't cut and make a spike okay let me just put it just a few more okay so as you can see we tied over here we tied over here right so after tying over here we made sure that we reverse both our thread back right then that's where you are going to cut don't wait for your thread to be too short before you do this okay because you might not be able to tie it there we go okay so this is it right so now adding your new thread this is how you're going to add your new thread you're going to take your thread it doesn't matter on any pattern just make sure that the last one the last one you tie right then the new one you're going to take your thread right i'm going to pass it on this purple over here this is a new thread right pass it through make sure it come out okay you can also make sure that it's level enough okay then you pull the very same thread right this part this part that is on the top this one i'm going to pass it through this bit again like so nicely and pull right yes so it should be something like this so if it's something like this it means you are continuing with your two beads on your left right two beads on your left two beads on your left then use the right thread and cross right so yeah here it is guys right so that's how you add your new thread okay you continue by doing the same pattern put two beads okay so yeah that's basically it i hope you like this video you share some people are still struggling so i'm making this because i got a request of how to add a new thread so if you have anything that i can assist with that is not on the video kindly let me know so that i can try so yeah guys see you on my next video kindly go and like share 
other of my videos and also go and follow me on instagram some of the questions i'm quicker there to respond so yeah see you on my next video so bye guys